Hello viewers, this is Just for Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and now the news in details. I won't tolerate ethnic religious prejudice, Buhari warns. President Muhammad Buhari on Thursday in Abuja warned that his administration would not tolerate ethnic and religious prejudices in the country. The president noted that prejudices would not Hugger well for the development of the nation, adding that his administration would continue to create an enabling environment for religious freedom as guaranteed by the Nigerian constitution. He spoke when the leadership of the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, led by its President General and Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence Al Haji Muhammad Saad Abu Bakr, paid him a courtesy call. President Muhammad Buhari said the federal government will continue to promote religious freedom as it is a constitutional responsibility. I must thank the Muslim humor for promoting interreligious dialogue in the country. It is self-evident that if the country must work, we must continue to work together in spite of our ethnic, religious and political differences between because Nigeria is our collective project. Accordingly, the federal government under my leadership does not and would not allow religious prejudice or partisanship to influence any of its decisions and policies. It is my solemn decision to be fair and just to whole segment of society. The president assured the delegations that government was doing all in its power to bring the current state of insecurity to the barest minimum calling on local gov communities to assist security forces as they perform their roles. The federal government has worked tirelessly to combat insecurity and other challenges that are confronting the country. Security is a protected problem, but we are not relenting in our efforts. Not only are we equipping the military, we are also boosting their morals to perform their constitutional duties without undue interference. We are also encouraging locals to enhance their intelligence gatherings and timely remitting to the security agencies. I acknowledge that security is the first responsibility of government, but government cannot do it alone. It requires stakeholders such as yourself. And therefore, I urge you to lend your support to the security agencies by providing information that may stem the tide of crimes and insecurity in the country, he said. He also spoke on the efforts of its administration towards making life better for the average Nigerians. We are diversifying the economy and putting appropriate mechanisms in place to reduce poverty and more fiercely combat corruption, regardless of the status of those involved. Programs such as NPower, conditional cash transfer, government enterprise, an empowerment program, and homegrown school feeding are just some of the interventions made to empower Nigerians and cater for their needs. The National Security Investment Program alone has directly benefited 4 million Nigerians through job training and financial assistance, the president said. President Muhammad Buhari called on the leaders to continue speaking to our people to help Amplify this message through your very tried and tested networks and to give full backing to the alternate school programs which he launched on Tuesday. He said it was designed to not only address our high out of school rate, but it will boost our level of girls girl child education while also equipping our youth with the right tools in making decisions at every turn of their lives when confronted by peddlers of evil and hateful messages. And also address the public health crisis that the world is currently facing. The president used the opportunity to appeal to Nigerians to support the government's efforts on COVID-19. And according to him, as government continues to work towards managing the crisis, it is also critical that you lend your voices in support of those basic of fundamental protocols that can signif significantly curtail the spread of this disease. Washing of our hands, using face masks 
and ensuring social distancing as much as possible have been proven to be our first line of defense in the fight against this virus. And furthermore, and much more important, when the vaccine, which we are working hard to procure for the nation, arrive, please, please join in their drive to educate people that these vaccines are meant to save lives and protect everyone. Earlier in the in his address, Sultan Abubakar commended the president for the successes achieved so far in the northeast, calling on the government to deal decisively with the banditry that is ravaging the northwestern state of Zamfara, Kastina, Sokoto, and some parts of the north central, while expressing confidence that security forces, with better synergy among them, we overcome the present challenges. He solicited for the cooperation of all the governors with the federal government, irrespective of their political leaning, calling on Nigerians to support the new leadership of the armed forces. The NSC High A leader also appealed to Nigerians, particularly religious leaders, to refrain from making inflammatory comments that tends towards sowing discord in the polity and exacerbating the current level of insecurity in the land. He asked, this, he asked that religious leaders making subversive comments be called to hold that. The Sultan equally identified with the hate speech campaign of the Minister of Information and Culture. He said hate speech is aggravating insecurity in the country and that we have to heart fast. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take about what our Nigerian president said, President Muhammad Buhari, you know, he was saying that um, he actually want, want Nigerians not to tolerate ethnic religious prejudices, you know. He was talking about religious pre prejudices. But the reality is that who are the people that are causing problems in the country? Definitely we know those people. You know, majorly the problem that we have, that, and we keep saying it, the problem are the, are, are the northerners that we have in the country. They are the ones that, that are trying to enforce laws that is not in the right directions to many Nigerians. You know, when we look at what is going on presently in the country, we can see that most of the killings that are going on started from the north. The Boko Arams, the, the, the Fulani headsmen, and many more like that that we can talk about. So what I can say to this is that President Muhammad Buhari should please call his people to order, especially the northerners, the Fulani people that are killing the, the, the southerners, the easterners. He should call them to hold that. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're here to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, of course, you will be the first person to watch our latest news anytime any day. God bless you for always being there for us at all time. Stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important to you and me. Have a lovely day once again. Bye.